Hello there and welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about how you should plan your day. And this is the most important thing because the better you plan, the more likely you're going to succeed. Alright, let's begin your day at 6.30 in the morning. Wake up. The first thing I suggest is wake up early. I'm an early riser. I used to, when I did my PhD, I was there in my office at say 5 o'clock in the morning. The reason? I wanted to be, wanted to have a time when it was quiet and peaceful so I could focus on my studies, on my PhD. So if you are a morning riser, follow this plan and you will succeed. 8 o'clock, get ready, have your breakfast and head straight to the university. If you live close by to the university, take a walk to the university rather than drive. Take some fresh air that will help you throughout the day. 8.30 in the morning, reach your office, switch on your laptop or your computer, start writing. Get cracking for at least 2 hours. Write as much as you can in these first two hours. Your mind is really fresh early on in the morning. So I find this is the best time that you can get really good writing, get your ideas onto paper. Don't do anything else other than writing in the first two hours. If you have to schedule any meetings, try to do it after that first writing time that you have allocated in your, in your daily plan. Uh, don't get distracted. Don't switch on uh, your email, don't check your email and yeah, disable your internet on your mobile phone. Don't have any distractions, just focus and just write. 10.30, it's been two hours since you have started writing, take a break. You deserve that break. And if you have achieved a milestone, like if you have written say 200 words or 300 words, and this is what this was one of the milestones that you have planned celebrate that have a cup of tea go for a walk stretch just give your brain a little bit of break for half an hour and then come back 11 a.m this is the time to read and that's what i do i select or shortlist two or three papers that i want to read every day and i'll keep them ready for the next day so come 11 o'clock uh, pick up those two, three papers, start reading them, summarize, make notes, annotate, highlight, whatever, whichever way you like reading, just read. Focus only on reading in, in this next uh, hour, hour and a half. One thing I used to do or even I do it now is as I highlight or annotate documents, I also open up an Excel spreadsheet next to it and I'll start making notes or copy and paste some ideas or thoughts or whatever I want to extract from that paper that I'm reading and put it in an Excel sheet. Uh, this sheet, this Excel sheet will grow slowly, but uh, slowly and steadily, but you will have a good uh, source of data once you have finished all the readings that you have planned for. And this is a very good way to do a structured analysis of literature. 12.30, this is a time that you should do something non-PhD related. Okay, you have spent time writing, you have spent time reading. Now give yourself a little bit break. Do something different for the next one hour. It may be that you uh, do an online course where you learn something new, a new skill. Maybe something that you would be requiring later down the track in your PhD. Maybe it is a uh, simulation tool that you need to learn or uh, you want to learn a new language, I don't know, something different, something uh, out, of, out of your PhD time to give you that one hour break in between. 1.30 is lunch time. Enjoy your lunch, go for a walk, refresh, come back with full of energy to again conquer your PhD. 2.30 p.m. This is the time you come back to your lab and if you have to run some experiments, do some simulations, do that. 
gather some results and compile those results in, in a document or in a, in a database, whatever that may be, but do something related to data. So no writing, no reading. This is your actually doing, doing your research. It may be analyzing your qualitative or quantitative data. It could be running simulations and collecting or doing experiments. Do the core part of your research now. 3.30 p.m. You've been doing your experiments for more than an hour now. It's time to take a little bit break. Take a, have a tea break or a coffee break, go for a short walk, spend 15 to 20 minutes, just relax and rejuvenate. 3.45 p.m. Come back to your lab. This is a time that I dedicate for collaboration. Communicate, network with your research community. It could either be face-to-face -face using Skype or going to meet somebody or making some posts on social media like LinkedIn or Twitter or ResearchGate or whichever social media platform that you are using. But this is a time to network, listen to people, share your ideas, get their feedback. 4.30 p.m. This is the time to prepare for tomorrow. What are you going to write? What are you going to read? Select a few papers, download it and keep it ready. And the third is, what are you going to experiment? Keep these three things planned for tomorrow. So when you come to work tomorrow morning, you don't have to think, oh, what is it that I'm going to write tomorrow? Or what should I read now? So be prepared, plan everything in advance. If you have to schedule any meetings, Tomorrow, maybe with your supervisor or with your colleague or somebody online, make that now. Send them an email, schedule an appointment or send them an outlook in why. Whatever you do, prepare that, plan that. Five o'clock. This is the time to leave. Finish off, shut down your PhD, shut down your brain from PhD. It's your free time. Go to the gym, go for a drive. I've mentioned in some of my other videos, what can you do to make your PhD more enjoyable? Do some of those activities. Try to relax, recover, and come prepared for the next day. I hope you enjoyed this video. These steps, if you follow, will make your PhD uh, day or your uh, daily research more productive, more enjoyable, and more structured. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.